those who say South Sudan is not ready for elections, I don't know what is the criteria which you are using. What is their mechanism for evaluating as to whether people are ready for elections or not? For us, we say we are ready for elections. And the elections will be run. There are those who believe that we are not going for elections unless all the provisions of the agreement are implemented. That is rubbish. Even the provisions of the CPA up to now are not all implemented. CPA and Jablena Independence Day, some provisions are still outstanding. Some of them like what? Like the Border Commission. Like the, 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 the three areas. The, 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 like the Jibala Nuba and, uh, and Angasa and Blue Nile. This is part of the CPA. The Unified Forces, when they were set up, up to the time of independence and we became independent, they were never unified. So there are some provisions of the agreements which are not usually necessary. And they cannot be a condition for doing anything. This is why we conducted the elections, Yumdak, and this is why we conducted the referendum, despite the fact that some provisions of the agreement were not. If we were to be intransigent, we would say, Walai Mab Namul in Tikhabad, Mab Namul referendum, unless the issue of borders is determined. Up to now, it is not determined. Should we have waited for it? There are people who say we will not go for elections unless the population substance is conducted. For what? For you to conduct a population census, you need two years. We are not ready to go beyond. There are people who say unless they displace people and the refugees are repatriated. Repatriation is a voluntary work. It is a voluntary thing. It is not compulsory. The government cannot go and tell the refugees in all the refugees camps, Hoi, come here, go home. That is not the case. It is the, the, the refugee who would say, I want to be repatriated. Then we will repatriate him. Even the displaced here, in this camp, here in Yuba, we cannot force them to go home if they don't want. So that condition is not in place. Those who are in the field now, Al Karajumba, Sayade, will be deployed now. Tain Jabu will be deployed with their sticks. We'll deploy them. By then, we'll see what they will do on the ground. All right. The second phase will be coming in. And second phase, it is conditional. For you to go to the Maidan, you must produce your rifle. To, to convince us that you were a combatant. Once you produce your rifle, it is put in the store, then you go for training. When you graduate from there, you are, you are given, you take your rifle and you are graduated with it. Because we have the arms embargo. And arms embargo is another way of obstructing the implementation of the agreement. It is ob obstruction because the, we will not be allowed. They know we don't manufacture arms, we don't manufacture even ammunition and everything. So once you are stopped from getting all this, then you take it your own way. This is the situation in which we are. So we are moving and we are going for elections. Those who are saying internationally that we are not prepared for elections, these are the doubting Thomases. And we'll prove to them that you don't need to doubt us. Yes. All those who are doubting and saying that the government of South Sudan is not ready for elections, these are people who are fearing from going for elections. But for us, as a government, and as SPLM in particular, we are going for elections. Anybody who doesn't want to go is up to him or her. Of course, going to contest elections or, 
or going to vote is not compulsory. It is a right given to you by the Constitution, but it is up to you whether to exercise that right or not. So we will... Uh, we are going for elections, and anybody who doesn't want to go for elections is up to him or her. But we are going for elections. So my message to those who are saying that we are not ready for elections, I'm telling them that we are ready for elections and we are going for elections. The unified forces, the current ones which are in the Medan, they will have to be graduated. They have already graduated. They will now be deployed. One of the major problems is that the I.O. up to this moment has not presented the list of their officers to the president for commissioning. So at the end of the day, they may be deployed without command. And that will be another step also. Graduated them with the sticks, we'll also deploy them without command. Otherwise, the forces are ready, and they will be deployed now. Those who are uh, going to the training centers will be going, and uh, they will be graduated before the end of this year. Or up to the end of this year, they will be graduated. Because after all, what is that which will delay them again? Nothing. If they don't want to graduate, that is up to them. But we will graduate them and deploy them.